Well, everyone, I want to show you some of my uh, woodworking projects. Uh, similar to this here, I built this deck in uh, 1986. And the handicap ramp that you see over here to the right, I uh, added that on there in 2005. Uh, what you see here is a uh, stump cover. We had a tree cut down there quite a number of years back and I made a cover out of pressure treated wood and just dropped it over the top and cut out for the uh, the roots because trying to remove the stump was virtually impossible so we just cover it up. Uh, this here is a uh, table we use at our cookouts. I put the umbrella in there and I set my uh, little uh, my tools for cooking and so forth and uh, you know, if I have a small grill, I just put it up on top of here, and then I put this next to my big grill, which is in storage right now. This here I built many years ago. It's a styrofoam cooler, and um, I just built a box out of pressure-treated plywood, made this cover, and keep the soda and stuff in there for our cookouts. Uh, last week I put a new trim on the door, a new screening. Um, so added this so that uh, you're not pushing on the screening when you're opening the door. Here inside the screen house, um, which you've seen in an earlier video, this is a bench I built out of uh, furring strips that I got at Home Depot. And this is some of the cutoff wood that uh, I have used on my deck. This is pressure treated, 2 by 6s They're not the best pieces, but they're, uh, they cut them off. They're in a, a special bin and they're green. Uh, marked green with green paint on the edge and they go for 51 cents a piece they're up to four feet long and uh, I use these for replacing on my deck uh, I can't afford to rebuild the whole deck so I just uh, re repaired the parts that I need to do using wood of, like this here everything's in storage right now in this greenhouse but this is our our main grill which uh, goes with that table I showed you outside this is the internal uh, uh, view of my uh, screen house with the redone roof uh, because the original structure wouldn't support a heavy load of snow. There's my uh, 50s uh, wall box here. I even got the uh, telephone here but uh, I, for some reason I never could uh, get at the wires to find out what's wrong with it. So it's more of a novelty than anything else. Basically everything's still uh, in storage here but this is a little table and the two uh, bar, uh, bar stools that I got. You sit here and you have your soda, like the old 50 style, you know. Okay, nothing fancy, just cleaning these together. I got two made already here. That's the inside. That's the outside. They're going to be just around like this. They're 45 and a half inches long. And that'll cover the, the um, stump and then the top will go over. It'll be 48 inches square. Got the top pretty well done. I just got to trim off this. Put some more cleats on here. This is the bottom of it. Top is a little better than 48 inches square. The uh, four sides, there's two over there and the other two over here. And uh, we'll put these in, it'll be like a box upside down, and then we'll just drop it onto the stump and then I have to trim up what I have to do to get this to fit in right. So that's where it stands right now. This is, uh, we got two sides up. This is going to be a, a a real tough job getting this thing carried over there be without breaking off the sides because until I can flip this over and get some nails down through from the top into here these are just uh, screwed in to the base and toenailed over here with finish nails on this one and uh, it's going to be a tough one getting this to be moved over now this is not cut evenly and it just sits on the ground and I'm going to have to cut around for the the roots of the tree and everything anyway so I'm going to have to do a lot of jockeying around to get this to uh, fit right.
Eh, that's not too bad. Might fine tune it a little bit. Well, I'm going to try to jam this 2x6 in the middle of this to support it because when you start standing on this thing being that these boards are only held together by these pine strips here it's not going to be much strength but if I put this in there and uh, hammer some nails into it I might be able to get some strength out of it it's worth a try so we'll try to get that done and then I'll drop this down on top of the stump and see how it is I'm going to try dropping it on the stump with that piece in there to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the top of the stump which I don't think it will and then I'll go from there so we'll just try that okay here we go We're not looking all that bad. Nope, nope. 